Hey guys, it's Rene. For this drop pearls earrings, I'm going to be using this clay, it's porcelain clay. It dries with hair, which means that you don't have to bake it. But if you prefer, you can work with polymer clay. It's pretty much personal preference. But I'm going to be using this much, and I'm going to be working over a piece of wax paper, and I'm going to roll this until it's like this thick. Then I'm going to be using my Wilton 12 piping tip and I'm going to be using like the smallest part of this. I'm going to be cleaning my piping tip after. But yeah, I'm going to be cutting a couple of them like mini like cookies. If you have ever done uh, cookie dough and you just cut it cookies, I'm going to roll them and turn them into like spheres, like tiny spheres. Then I'm going to be taking this eye pin. I did this myself, by the way. I do have the DIY where I show you how to do this, cutting my eye pins an inch long so just when my uh, spheres are getting dry but are not like completely dry i'm going to be using some pins and just pin uh, tiny holes in them and just let them fully dry if you're working with polymer clay use like pins without like the tiny plastic parts on them and then just bake them once my clay spheres are dry i'm going to be removing the pins and just place the eye pins on them now it's time to paint them honestly this is uh, from a brand called finger paints i don't really know if they sell this anymore pretty old nail polish i have a new one that i just bought but for this i use this nail polish if you ever made cake pops i'm going to be doing the same thing but in miniature placing my nail polish there and just covering my clay like that i'm gonna let it dry and once it's dry i'm going to be turning this into earrings using a couple of ear wires opening this my pliers and placing the eye pin and then just close them and this is it for the single earrings these are honestly one of the easiest pair of earrings that I've ever done, super lightweight. You can dress them up, dress them down. And now for the multiple pearls, I'm going to be doing pretty much the same, but I'm going to be making more spheres, a lot more, letting them dry. And then I'm going to be gluing them around my eye pin. For this, I would highly suggest you to get a really good glue. The one that I use, like Gorilla Super Glue, works really well for these kinds of projects. For this step, because I'm just pretty much gluing this into a piece of like really thin wire, I'm being really patient and just pressing it until it's glued. Then I'm gonna let it dry. I let them dry for a few hours actually, it was uh, kind of overnight. Just make sure though it's like dry and set. This time around I'm gonna be using my brush, covering them like this. And then as a final step, going with my ear wire. And yeah, this is pretty much it for this ones. These ones are a bit more delicate and just more intricate. These are my kind of like fancier earrings. They look really cute with any outfit. I think they look pretty elegant, in my opinion, anyways. But yeah, I really hope you like these two ideas. Let me know which one you like the most. I honestly like them both for different reasons. I wear them both in different occasions, if that makes sense. If you like them, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out my channel for more earrings that I've done. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this ones and share them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!